Hello, my name is Bob Friedel. I'm a junior at the University of Wisconsin-Madison and I study biochemistry. Today, I'm going to tell you about a really old way to measure the concentration of something in the solution. This right here is the Helige wedge colorimeter. Now, this is a very old way to qualitatively determine the concentration of something in a solution. So sometimes, by looking at the color of a solution, you can figure out how much of that thing you have in it. That's pretty neat. But, um, like most colorimeters, there are advantages, such as um, that you can quickly, really quickly look at the color to determine the concentration. And um, if you have a really keen eye and you're good at it, you can find the concentration pretty well. Uh, however, if you're colorblind, you might have some trouble with this. Uh, for disadvantages, uh, you need a really, really accurate standard to compare your, your uh, solution with. And it, uh, it's not very sensitive, so you need uh, large amounts of your analyte in order for this to work. And also, it doesn't really work at night unless you have light or candles to set the biochem mood. So with a colorimeter such as the wedge type that we have here, we have a standard in this wedge-shaped cup. Now, here we have this smaller cup which you put your unknown in. And then, because it gets thinner at the bottom, you can adjust the height of this until the intensities just about match. And then you can measure the width of your standard and be able to get an accurate description of the concentration. So, the way this works is you have a place to look through right here. There's an eyepiece and there's a prism here. When you put these in, you'll take your stand and you place it in right here. And here you can adjust the height. So you put the standard in and you put it down. And then you take your unknown and you put that in the other side. Then, if you look through this hole right here, you can see that both the standard and the unknown cup are visible. So then when you put the eyepiece up, you look through the eyepiece, and it compares them side by side. And you match them until the intensity matches. And then you take the reading that you have here, which ranges from zero all the way up to 100. I have this concentrated dye right here, and then I have diluted each one by 20%. So I'll consider this one 100% concentrated of dye, and this one 80%, 60, 40, 20. So what I did was I compared this to our blue standard, which I have already put into the Elige wedge apparatus right here. So what I first did is I had my cup. And then what, we, what I did, take the 100%, put the pipe back, fill up the cup, make sure that there are no bubbles that will alter the, the light path. And I put it in. And then, by comparison, by looking through, I can match with the intensity of my analyte, my unknown equals the intensity of the known. And wow, would you look at that. That's something else. I set this up to perfectly match it at zero. And sure enough, I'll take, take my first, first recording at zero, which means that the thickest part of my uh, standard is equal to the uh, intensity of my 100% unknown. So, after recording the data for the various samples and creating a plot, we see that the colorimetric data linearly fits quite well, just as it should, which means that this old school apparatus has still got it. So this Halige wedge colorometer was first developed circa 1910. Now, by doing math, that makes it more than 100 years old, but I'm not so good at math, I'm good at biochemistry. So this one specifically was made in Frankfurt, Germany. So, um, what sorts of things would this be used for? Uh, it, it, 
Way back when, they didn't have the technology to measure the concentrations of things directly. So they had to transform different solutions of biological systems into colored solutions. So what sorts of things can we make colored and test? Well, let's find out. Fructose. Ketones. Salicylic acid. Cholesterol. Blood sugar. Creatine, so you can check how your kidneys are working. Phenolphthalein, to check the concentration of your acid. Billy Rubin, not Billy Idol. Look how beautiful these wedges are. The Liege Wedge Calorimeter. I hope you've enjoyed our talk about this today. And while it may be outdated, sure enough, it was, it's still an accurate way to determine concentrations of solutions. And it definitely made a big, significant impact on certain discoveries back in its era. How about that, Wisconsin?